I'm so full from eating all of that pizza. You don't need this. You need exercise. But where am I going to get exercise at? The Great Smoking Path 5K, Saturday. Okay. Let's go. But first, education, education today starts, starts now. now. Welcome to Education Today. I'm Liz Scumai from West Shemokin High School in the Armstrong School District. We are here today to talk about the Great Shemokin Path 5K race, which took place on Saturday, April 10, 2010 in Rural Valley. Today our guest is Ms. Sherry Shank, a teacher at West Shemokin High School and one of the or organizers of the Shemokin Path 5K race. Hello, Ms. Shank. Hi. Uh, Ms. Shank, what subjects do you teach at West Shemokin? I teach uh, learning to support English and social studies. And how did you become interested in running? Um, well, I made friends with a runner and so then just kind of started running that way. Nice. <laughs> um, when in history did people start competing in races? I don't really know. Um, the first marathon was back in ancient Greece, but um, people were running long before that. That was how people got around and got dinner. Right. <laughs> Um, and why do you run? Um, I just really like running. Um, I like the way it makes me feel and um, you know I feel healthier and better when mm -hmm. I run. Um, what are the benefits of running? Um, well you can build strength and um, cardiovascular health and um, just you know it's good for a person overall to stay more fit. Mm -hmm. And what is your main inspiration for running? Um, just to do it for fun, um, you know, I don't have any, like, grand goals or anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, how long have you been running? About four years. And what do you feel when you are running? Um, it depends how far I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a long, long run, you know, you can kind of just get into your head and think about all kinds of things or, you know, um, but if you're racing, you're more focused on exactly what you're doing and where more you are in relation to other people. And do you wear special shoes when you run? Um, I wear good running shoes. I think shoes are one of the more important purchases if you're going to be a runner to make sure that you have the right shoes for your type of foot and your type of stride. Um, we actually went to um, a specialty running store and had them they do what's called a gait analysis they have you walk and they look to see if your feet turn in or they turn out or what other strange things that's that you really do cool. and then they try and match you up with the right shoes that's really cool um, do you are or do you do stretches before you run I used to but I don't actually anymore um, some of the newer research is linking people who stretch before they run with a higher incidence of injuries um, so I usually will stretch some after, but not before. Um, what is your best 5K race time? 25.55. Very good. <laughs> not that good, just average. <laughs> it's better than I would do, I'm sure. Um, what do you drink before you run? Um, usually water, juice, something like that. Well, thank you very much. Um, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back with Armstrong School District's education today. We'll talk more about the Great Schmokin Path 5K race. Stick around. Before I came to IUP, I had no idea what college would be like or what role I would play or where I'd be in the future. But when I came to IUP, everything changed. I met people who really made me feel like I belonged. I had great classes at a great nationally ranked university. Hi, my name is Megan Miller. I'm a fine arts major, and this is my university. Is 
We're back with Armstrong School District's education today. We're talking about the Great Schmokin Path 5K race with Ms. Sherry Shank. What do you eat before you run? Um, me, basically, pretty much anything. I must have a cast <laughs> iron stomach. Not everybody can. Yeah. Um, that's one of those things that's pretty individualized. Uh, I heard it's if, usually pasta. Yeah, well, if we're having, if we're going to run a marathon or a really big race, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll probably load up on carbs the night before. Um, but normally, if it's a, a morning race, like a 5K or a 10K or something like that, I like um, oatmeal and banana and wal walnuts. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> um, how do you pace yourself? Um, well, I, I recently got a GPS watch, which is totally awesome because I can <laughs> see my exact pace all the time. Um, because I have a habit of overpacing in the beginning and then dying in the end. <laughs> so the um, the GPS watch really helps me stay focused. But the more you run at a certain pace, you sort of get um, a body map of what that pace feels like, and so you can adjust a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever hit the wall while running? Oh, I think everybody has if you've gone, if you run any type of really longer distances, yeah. Um, uh, marathons are good for wall hitting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Um, how do you prefer, prepare yourself for a 5K race? Um, you mean on the day of the race or before leading up to it? Um, how, how long does it take you usually to, how long do you prepare? Um, for a 5K, usually just from the running that we do on a regular basis, mm -hmm. we don't do any particular specific training for a, a 5K. Um, but on the day of the race, we would make sure, you know, most people go out and, and run warm up for a while because the first mile when you first start running um, always feels really hard. And you don't want that to be your first mile of the race because then you're behind where you want to be. So it's always important to go out and warm up and get that rough mile over with so you're just ready to go. Um, what pumps you up? <laughs> Uh, I guess just the idea that you know, I want to get a better time. I always want to get a better time than what I got before. That's good. And um, what kind of terrain do you like? Um, I really like trail running the best. Um, running out through the woods on, on little skinny trails and over creeks and mm -hmm. things like that. Kind of like the woods. 5K, West Shemokin? Yeah, only, <laughs> only more rough than that. Yeah, like, really? Yeah, little tiny trails like <laughs> yeah, those are fun. Quad um, trails. What attire is most comfortable for you? Um, for me, it depends on the the temperature. Um, this time of year, you know, lightweight shorts and shirts are good. Right. Um, in the cold weather, it's a little tougher because you don't want to freeze, but you don't want to sweat either. So yeah. you know, you, you need lightweight layers, but it's always kind of tricky to figure out how many. Mm -hmm. Um. Are you competitive? Um, with myself, yeah, I always <laughs> want to get a better time than last time. And I'm basically a middle of the packer. I'm not a person who's going to be in the front. Um, I'll frequently place in my age group, but um, when I'm racing, I just keep looking at the person in front of me and get, when I get past that person, then it's the next person and the next person, yeah. you know. So, yeah, I guess I'm competitive. <laughs> um, what is the ideal temperature for running? Um, usually in the 50s and 60s because it's not so hot that, you know, it makes it hard to run and you have to slow down a little off your pace because of the heat. Or so cold that, you know, breathing becomes hard and you just can't move as well. So. Yeah. How long has a great... Great West Schmokin 5K race been in existence? This is our fourth race this year. Wow. Yeah, um, I know. How many 5Ks have you run? I kind of have lost track, probably somewhere in the vicinity of 20, I suppose. Um, do, you, do you do a victory dance when you finish? No. Oh, so we don't get to see anything? <laughs> no, no dance, sorry. Um, what prize do you get if you win? Um, Finisher, um, people who place or win overall generally get some sort of a trophy. Um, our trophies for the Great Schmook and Path 5K are really cool. Um, they're pottery. And so we wanted to get something that was different than what most people have, which is plaques or little trophies. Yeah. And so we have these uh, 
ceramic pots that have the wolf on it and the name of the race. And That's so, neat. So it's different. Um, how many runners do you expect to have this year? Oh, we're really excited this year. We have more people pre-registered than ever. Um, and so it's looking to be maybe 150 people. Oh, wow. Year. Yeah, that'd be a awesome. Lot. Yeah. That's really good. Um, can you tell us about your sponsors and who they are? Our biggest sponsor is Fox's Pizza in New Mine. They have been so generous. Um, they put they do our, us as the Big Daddy of the Month promo um, a month or so before the race, and so we get the proceeds from that. And uh, they have 20 of their employees coming out to walk. Uh, yeah, and they all have matching T-shirts. It's really cool. And, um, yeah, that's one of our biggest sponsors. But we have a variety of local sponsors. Um, the Kawashonic Watershed Association, they operate the trail so um, we have their permission to use it for the race. Um, Genesis Screens does the shirts. Um, uh, Mahoning Outdoor Furnace, Phoenix Rehabilitation, Dr. Nozel, um, Alt Myers Country Rest, Elderton State Bank, Marion Center Bank. Yeah, we have quite a list. That's Alt Myers Veterinary, um, the, the local Lions Club, uh, Trails End, uh, it's a bike store in Indiana. And um, then Citizens Ambulance, and uh, also at school, the um, Starfish Club, the Walking Club, and the Leo Club. My sister designed the T-shirt. Was that your sister? Yes. I knew saying <laughs> his name. <laughs> um, who are the other organizers of the race? Um, Mr. Mertz uh, and Mrs. Ritchie. Yes. Very good. Um, Ms. Shank, thank you for coming to speak with us about a great happening in Armstrong County this spring. The Great Shemokin Path 5K race, which took place on Saturday, April 10th, directly across Route 85 from DeMeo's Market in Rural Valley. Now let's look at some, of, some video from this year's 5K race. Put some tape over. Hey guys, once you get right yeah, I never right. hear a word of it. I'll give up with video. Yeah. And we can like maybe yell out. Oh my god, no, 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 Get over here by this sign. They're gonna well, shoot us out of the video. I'll talk to you. I'll stand in the back right here. It's cold. It's a steal. I'm gonna make sure I get this with two cameras. Okay. On the count of three, say, Yay, Fox Pizza. One second. Not yet. Okay. One, two, three. Yay, Fox Pizza. Are you going to win? Yes. One more time. Yay, Fox Pizza on three. One, two, three. Yay, Fox Pizza. Good. Oh, wait, let me get going. Like that. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. On behalf of myself, Sherry Shea, all of the volunteers, and Tom Shannon Watershed Association, this is our fourth annual Great Smoky Cap, and turnout is just um, spectacular as is the morning. The, uh, the, the sponsors, one of the main sponsors is Fox's Pizza of New Mine. Will they be open? They will be when I get there. So, so they'll treat you right any time of year. But uh, I want to thank them. Genesis Green does a ton of work with us, getting things organized with shirts and banners, and and all of the other sponsors couldn't do it without, and and also all of you. Um, we have a lot of uh, 
wide range, experienced runners, new runners, walkers, all age groups. Those of you with experience, please uh, be willing to help out. And those of you new, um, don't be afraid to ask. Uh, Indiana Road Runners Club is here, and you'll recognize them from the yellow tank, um, and a lot of others that, that would be willing to share things. Also, a lot of other local races coming up. I believe next weekend is, is a 5K in Catanning. We have others, um, Fort City, Punxsy, Indiana. Uh, again, Indiana Roadrunners, Punxsy Roadrunners um, are a couple of sites you can check for, for other local races coming up through the spring and summer. Um, with the turnout, there's, there's pros and cons. It's a narrow course and it's out and back. And the first half mile is the widest which also means the last half mile is a little wider. You have uh, about a half a mile on gravel road. There, there are loose, some larger roads that, that you know, you've tried to clear things, but they're still there. Um, beware of your footing. There's a road crossing that for a half a mile, and then it's more of a cinder and grass kind of surface, which is also a little narrower as a result. So, so, um, of walkers who might have people coming from the front, from the back, and on the right back. Uh, so be aware of, of the other runners, please. So, like I was saying, half mile of gravel and road crossing. Then it's more of a cinder and grass. After that road, walkers, you have another half mile. At the water table will, you, will be your turnaround. Runners, at the one mile is water. You go out another half mile to your turn, come back, have some water table again, half mile to the road, half mile back to here. Be safe, look out for each other, and encourage each other. Um, one last thing, a lot of new people, Runners, you all have your bib on and didn't detach the tag from the bottom, correct? Okay. Timers ready? Runners ready? Set? Go! Come back, you'll be on one side of the other. State your name and, and how many times have you ridden or run this race? Michael Patterson and once. It's the first time. What was your time last year? I didn't do it last year. Oh, okay. It's the first time then? Good. Good luck. Thanks. State your name and tell me why you're running. I'm Kirsten Barker and well I'm not running but I'm like walking. But I do it, you know, for the greater good and for for my family. I want to thank my, my dad for inspiring me to walk this race. <laughs> Good. Let's go fish. Seventh grade, and I'm pro and not going to win. Austin's in the seventh grade, and I know I'm not going to win. My name is Scott Fish, I'm in seventh grade, and we're going to win. My name is Austin Porter, and I'm in seventh grade, and I'm going to win. I'm Beth Kozik, and I'm in ninth grade. 
Uh, are you going to win this race? Hopefully. <laughs> What's your best time? Um, 32. You are a cross country runner, are you, are you not? Yes. Who do you run for? Bush <laughs> Good luck today. Thank you. <laughs> Adam, turn around. Okay. Uh, where are you going to college? We're going to Clay next year. Good. What are you going to major in? Uh, TV production, TV broadcasting. Actually. Okay. What's your name? My name's Adam Kerr. Good. Okay. It is the same name as me. This could be your first interview. Catherine Hamilton up from Fort City. Uh, do you expect to win this race, Catherine? Uh, probably not. <laughs> this is your first race? No. I run cross country. For Fort All right. City. What's your best time for 5K? 21.50. That's pretty fast. It'd be up front. Yeah, I hope. Gentlemen, what are your names and uh, what was your time? I'm uh, Lottie Van Dyke, and my time was just under 19 minutes. Okay. I think. Doug Croft, 1916. Thank you. Andrew, come over here. Andrew, what was your time? Somewhere 20, uh, 22, 11, maybe. Your third, came in third. Excellent job. Yes. Oh, Kelly. <laughs> 
Come over here. Kelly. How was the race, Kelly? What? How was the race? Tired. Tired? Was it a nice temperature for you? No. Was it? My hands. Too cold. Well, you look good out there. <laughs> good job, Kel. Danielle. Well, that's our show for today. Today's episode was written and filmed for the TV production students of West Shemokin Junior Senior High School, led by their teacher, Mr. Ren Steele. They were our film crew today. Please join us again next week for another look at the Armstrong School District and another show entirely produced by Ford City High School. Visit our website for updated information about the district and have a great week.